Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about grading more effectively and more consistently in DaVinci Resolve by grouping our clips in the color page. We're going to be working on three different levels. It's going to be pre-clip, on the clip itself, and then post-clip grading. Now we can only do that once these clips are in a group. So let's look at how we do that first. The project I've got open is a short film that I've graded recently. Actually the first project that I've used this grouping method on. I tried it out because there was quite a lot of scenes, quite a lot of shots and it was that effective that I decided to make this video on it. On a regular day in DaVinci, you would just be doing your total grade on each clip one by one. But when you've got such a long short film, it can be really useful to group your shots by their scenes because each scene will have a very similar look. It'll be the same lighting conditions and you'll often want the same grade. So what grouping allows us to do is do our corrections on a shot by shot basis, but then before and after the group, we can make global adjustments that affect the whole scene. First step to make these into a group is to highlight all of your clips, shift and click, and we're gonna right click. And at the top here, we'll have add into a new group. When you clicked on a shot, whatever else has this little green icon link, it means that it's also part of the same group. You'll see that when we click off something that's not part of the group, we then get that clips group show up and we get those link icons coming up. So we're gonna do it on three levels and we get those three levels at the top here. So the pre-clip, clip and post-clip grading, we actually have options for up at the top here with these three dots or the drop down menu to the right. We can select the three here. We're not gonna use timeline in this one. And I don't like using timeline grades because the timeline actually will affect any graphics or any text that you have. So if you're adding stuff like halation or glow and stuff, it'll apply that effect to the graphics and the text. And we don't want that. It's disgusting. Pre-clip, usually I only need my input device transform. If I've got quite a dark scene and there needs to be some kind of general denoising done across the whole scene, I'll put a denoising node in here too. This one was shot late afternoon, so no denoising is needed. It's just my input device transform. In this instance, we're taking a Blackmagic 4K into our DaVinci wide gamut and DaVinci intermediate color space. And this just allows us to work in a color space that leaves us with the most amount of information possible. Now we can move over to our clip grading and this is where we'll do our individual color correction shot by shot. We'll have our exposure, our balance, our saturation. We've got some hue curves in there if we ever need to make some granular individual adjustments. And then a vignette node and that's one or two nodes if I need to add masks or vignettes to each shot and I never want to do a general one over the whole scene. Usually it's best to create those shot by shot because the lighting will be different. The real juice comes in when we go to our group post clip and this is where I will both create my look for the overall scene and output to our Rec. 709 Gamma 24. So for my look, I'm going to do something very basic here. So we want quite a warm sunset feel. I'll just push my gain over a little to the warm side. Maybe the, the gamma into a little green. So I actually used Dehancer for this short film. Dehancer is a, a film emulation plugin. We're not sponsored, but I did do a review of it and you can use this code to get 10% off if you want to buy it. So I'm going to drag that on. And this isn't really the look I'm going for, but you kind of get my point. It's very convenient being able to create these looks. And now if we move shot by shot, you can see they've applied to the whole scene and everything's working nicely because we've gone through and individually color corrected each shot so that they match and now when we apply this global look it applies it evenly across the whole scene so this kind of saves us from creating looks on a clip and then say copying it to other clips but then if we want to go back and amend that look we then have to go back in to just one of the nodes and then copy that node to all the other clips and it just becomes a bit of a hassle so this kind of alleviates all of those problems if you ever need to change a look of a scene then you can just go in and do it on those specific nodes and you know it's going to apply to the whole thing because we've shot matched and color corrected properly it all just runs smooth let me know if you want me to go into more detail in color correction or shot matching we did kind of glaze over it in this video but i just wanted to share with you guys this idea of grading scene by scene and not shot by shot because it's really helped me be super efficient and super consistent in creating looks for this short film in particular and certainly for any other short film that I'll be grading in the future. A very useful technique. If you have any other questions in general, just leave them in the comments. If you want to see any other future videos, leave those in the comments too. Uh, until then, have a good day or night and I will see you in the next video.